Okay, and welcome to Mr. Ridley's product design. And we're looking at an AS question here, and this is from Prod1. And this is a question from June 2014. Um, it's from section C, so it's one that says you must answer this question. Um, it's question eight. The photographs show a toy for children aged four years and older. So it's got a photograph there that you can see is a um, walkie-talkie kind of toy. And it just highlights the outer casing and it says 8A1 or 8AI, name a specific polymer suitable for the outer casing of the toy. Well, I, I would think the best one there um, would be ABS. Then, explain in detail why the polymer you named in part AI is suitable. So that was one mark. This is six marks. So, what can we say about ABS? Well, we can say that um, ABS is an impact resistant material the toy will not break if so what we what we're looking at here is is sets of two marks two marks for a statement so abs is an impact resistant material so that's uh, marks uh, sorry one to two marks so one mark abs is an impact resistant material that would be one mark and the um, qualification or saying that the toy will not break if dropped onto the floor is is another mark so two marks um, it is a fur Mo stick so it can be recycled at the end of its life. So there's the statement, it's thermoplastic, it can be recycled. Um, So what I'm saying here is basically um, it's a thermoplastic so it can be recycled at the end of its life, meaning it will not end up in landfill. And the last one we can talk about the process. Obviously thermoplastic can be injection molded. Um, so a and B No, it can be in, uh, thermoplastic can be injection molded, and we can qualify that a bit saying we can look at the, the complexity of the case and we can say things like the holes in the speaker. So, going to add complex shapes so we could have a thermoplastic can be injection molded and then we're justifying that by saying allowing the holes in the speaker to be added um, or a complex shape holes to be added okay so that's six marks I think that would be a six mark there we've got our one mark there so that that's the first part of it so we're going to turn over now and have a look at the second part now the second part is the outer casing of the toy has been injection molded use notes and diagrams and I'm just going to put a little thing under there to say notes and diagrams to describe this process now this is eight marks so we're going to talk about um, we're going to talk about this process obviously we need to have known um, we can 
you could answer it in bullet, bullet points, but I would, I would keep away from that if you can. Um, we can say that um, the plastic granules are added into a hopper um, a and R um, it's an arc me the an screw um, feeds I think we could say um, or, or moves moves the uh, move the granules past the heater So the plastic granules are added into a hopper. An archimedium screw uh, moves the granules um, past the heaters so they become soft. Now it, it hasn't said here anything about actually relating it to the um, toy in the previous one. So we're just talking generally about um, injection moulding. Um, the Hydraulic ram moves the the hydraulic ram moves the screw forward, which injects the you could say mole turn polymer into the steel mould. Um, the mould is water cooled and the um, E check or pins um, push the finished product out. So there, there's my description there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the because obviously it says diagram. So I, I'm going to going to do the diagram and then. Um, I think we'll just go back through that. So the, the diagram basically we have uh, um, just move this up we start off, we'll start sort of in reverse so here's a split steel mould we've got There, um, we better add our hopper here. So this comes up to our hopper. Move this back to here. Um, we need to add uh, heating elements. I'm going to label these up in a minute. Um, we need to add an uh, Archimedean screw, so we can add that here. Just add our motor.
and I think we've got that motor. I think I think that's really everything. We can probably just add a granules there, and I think that will do. So we obviously need to label that now, so we can say motor and ram. We can add hydraulic there. We can add heater. Polymer granules, um, water, cool, a cooled steel mold. Don't I've written rather small there, and I think try and keep these too small. There's a, a tendency to keep them very small. You've got quite a big space there. Try and fill the space up when you're doing this. Um, an Archimedean screw. Um, we could just add a thing there for RAM. We could add a little revolution thing there. And I think that's good for um, uh so that there's our illustration so we've got our illustration there and now if we look at the go back to look at the notes we can say the plastic granules are added into the hopper here an archimedean screw drives the the granules past the heaters here and here the hydraulic ram moves the screw forward which injects the molten polymer into the steel mold the mold is water cooled and the ejector pins push the finished product out and i think that's got to be good for eight marks so there's the final bit of that question um, for eight marks <laughs>